Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanalyze of Dawn. I'm your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we have one last match for today. It's going to be Google Frog and Kingstad going up against each other in the most recent patch, which is just a small difference in that the commanders don't produce as much metal as they did in the previous games, and the other two metal, two energy is global. Anyway, Google Frog going for Anthbots and Kingstad going for Cloakybots. Because that's what you do. I mean, this is a map that works well for Cloakybots, which is why it's what you do. Anyway, so Kingstad. Google Frog, two really strong players, actually. Both, I haven't really seen a lot of them play very much recently. King's had a little bit more than Google Frog, but these, this should be a pretty even game. I mean, then on the other hand, Amphot versus Cloakie is a weird matchup just because of the way that things work, especially now with the new Ducks, which we are going to see quite a bit of. Ducks have been slightly modified so that they, the heck? Okay, Ducks must slightly modified and the engine's apparently slightly screwed up. Anyway, Ducks must be modified to have their arc be a little bit less pronounced than it was before. If the problem before is that it wasn't able to hit raiders a lot of the time, it would just go past them. So that should be a minor buff in this matchup, actually. Which makes you wonder why Kingstad is going so heavily for Glaives, though at the same time, Kingstad should be able to build up a lot more. Ah, there's the Scythe. There it is. I'm thinking Glaives, Glaives, Kingstad, Glaives. No, no, no. Kingstad goes for Scythe. That's how Kingstad plays 0k. Okay. They build Scythe. Yeah, at this point, Glaive's coming in should be able to possibly wreck the subface? Not really sure. Certainly not trying to go for it. The ducks are being a little too intimidating for Kingstad's for Kingstad's liking. At this point, Google Frog should be able to go back here. Should be able to go back here and do deal with all this stuff. So yeah, I don't know. Feel like Google Frog's just gonna have a very strong economy to work with. Kingstad's going to be just desperately trying to maintain what they have, but. I'm not really sure how much that's going to happen. I feel like Kingstad is going to be in a bit of an awkward position overall. Just for how much they don't have dealing with the ducks. I mean, they get some... They have the size, maybe get some Ronin. They just aren't building anything. I don't know why. Kingstad, why do you keep doing this? This is the thing I see them do sometimes. They just don't... They're not sure what to do and they don't build anything. It's like, why not build something? Doesn't matter what it is. Just, you know, warm metal bodies in the field. That's all that matters sometimes. Oh, this is better than not. Anyway, ducks going down, and at the very least, that is some effectiveness. Again, the ducks are still able to fire over each other to an extent, but... Yeah, that was just good having the scythe there. Seriously, what the heck? I wonder if that's... Okay, sorry about that. I don't know what's going on there. This is the latest engine. Maybe there's... I don't know if there's a bug with the engine, or just because my configuration is for an older engine, I might need to flush my configuration. You have to do this sometimes, where it's like... Older options get inter get interpreted slightly wrong, or other stuff gets interpreted slightly wrong, and you have to basically reset the defaults and reconfigure everything, which is a bit of a pain. But it's not a huge deal. I'm not that far off defaults. Anyway. Back to the match, though. We do have the sights coming around the back, but Lotus is already set up to deal with it, so yeah, not really going to change much, I'm afraid. Sorry, little scythe. You're not going to be doing all that much work. Same time, though, we do have a lot of Ronin coming in. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Getting the Ronin set up to help deal with the ducks, which we are seeing far more of being built. And again, that scythe is there. That scythe is ready. Should be able to start getting rid of some of them if it was going to go cloaked, but no, it's not. There's the duck coming in there. And that duck is not going to have to worry about anything. Yeah, I, okay. I, if I knew how to reproduce this, I'd make a bug report, but it's like... I don't know. There's, there's stuff I can do to try to fix it first. Not going to do it right now. It would take me like 10 minutes to actually refresh everything. But, yeah, got to remember to do that after this game. Anyway, bad to the match, though. We do have Google Frog basically trying to come in with something. I, mean, I do want to get another nice look at how the ducks angle the shots, but apparently that's not going to happen. Okay, never mind. All right. Wait, camera to the new engine? Well, it's a little bit choppier than it should be for rotation. Zooming seems fine. Tilt zoom is fine. Is that actually, it's a little off. Yeah, rotation's a little bit off, it feels. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's... I think zooming's okay. No, zooming's fine. Zooming's fine. Okay, no, it's just... There's a bit of choppiness in the way the rotation happens. I think some of the timing has been changed. But, yeah. 
Sorry, we're getting really distracted. Because terrain is important. Oh, wait. There's a limpet? Oh, I missed the limpet. Crap. <laughs> well. <sighs> Just refresh. Let's recenter. Let's watch the sides go off. Try to find what they can find for targets. Maybe get rid of some of these ducks. Maybe get rid of all these ducks. Definitely get rid of all these ducks. These ducks are not going to be able to do anything at all. I do want to see... We're we going to get another fire from the ducks. Shoot you missiles! They're not shooting you missiles. Oh, well. That's... I'm not going to be able to see it from the sides, am I? I mean, the main thing here is right now is that Kingstad is going to be able to get around the back and start harassing a bunch of Google Frog's base. I mean, there really isn't anything in the way that's going to stop these sides from actually getting in. They're going to get... There's no metal extractor or something that's going to spot them. Unless Kingstead decides to go around the back and actually attack rather than trying to attack the main base and get rid of this conch and stop the Grizzly from being built. Nope. Just entirely front lines. Just take out the front line bits. Don't worry about the back line bits. That's not what I expected. Same time, though, a nice bit of pressure coming into the slings. Not a unit you see a huge amount of. Certainly not in these numbers. This is... Wait, why are we having six slings? This is a lot of slings. Not in Reef Rebuild anymore, but must have been at some point. Because normally you don't see people build more than a couple slings to deal with the frontline defenses. Six slings is a lot. Like, it's making me think of Total Annihilation. Which is kind of a weird thing to think about, because I didn't play the game very much. But for whatever reason, I associate slings very heavily with that game. At any rate, Scythes are at least able to get a bit of damage in, but I feel like the target choice, I don't agree with. I, I can see, you know, getting the back lines, getting to the conch, maybe getting... Getting some of the metal extractors, if that is destroyed without too many issues, then getting to the factory on top of that, and that'll be it. But yeah, Google Frog's main issue right now is they really can't do much. They're getting kind of pincered in. The sides are in the back, taking care of basically everything. And yeah, the Lotus is going to go down no problem. And then everything else is going to go down no problem, and then that's pretty much going to be it. Google Frog's going to lose that factory. Nothing is going to stop the sides from taking it. The only thing that will stop them is that they aren't all attacking the factory at once. But there they go, getting in the right spot. And, oh, no more. No ducks coming in. So, yeah, that is... That's it. That factory is dead? Oh, come on. It's it's so close. Just kill the factory. Seriously. Thank you. Okay, that would have been embarrassing. Like, how do you... You're so close. You've done everything right. The factory's not... Your commander's even your opponent's base. Sheesh. Kingstead's really playing it rude. <laughs> Okie doke. Oh yeah, I guess the Sling versus Grizzly kind of makes sense. I think Sling was mainly used to get rid of the frontline defenses, though. I don't think it was intended for the Grizzly. Ronin is usually what you use against Grizzly. Sling would work fine. It's just, you know, generally speaking, any... Like, the Skirmish is going to be faster. Ronin is going to be faster. It's harder to counter them out. But yeah, Scythes definitely do the trick. And that's going to be getting Kingstead taken from Google Frog, largely just due to good use of Scythe, because that's Kingstead. That's just how Kingstead does things. Like, proper use of Scythe. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That's going to be it for me today as I have to figure out what the heck's going on with my configurations or something for this engine. Why the terrain's all wonky. I really don't know how to... If I knew how to replicate it, it'd be easier. But I really don't. Uh, sorry, this is not really appropriate for the stream. So I'm just going to cut it here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good night, everyone.